wanted to try to manage their middles and we really didn't do a very good job. And it's funny because I, if you go through the game and you think you are and then you look at what they're doing kill-wise and they're getting a lot of kills, but they're getting those kills on second and third swings. I didn't think they got a ton of first swing kills. They did it, I guess, in set two they did. But, you know, our outside hitters played better than their outside hitters. And, uh, you know, Dree tonight, it was a, a tough night for her. They were zeroed in on her, had a pretty good blocker on her, and uh, I think that's what they wanted to do matchup-wise. And then they gave up Marley, who was over there, number 12, who's very small. And as a result, Marley got had a great match. Um, so their, their Libro's excellent. Uh, I, I, you know, 23 digs and three sets, unbelievably good. And that, that kid is a really good player. And she was, she's the kind of player that frustrates you. And I, I try to convince the players that it, you can't get frustrated by good digging. You just have, because even off of those digs, it wasn't like they were generating offense off those digs. We were getting another swing. But it tended to, it does tend to frustrate your team a little bit. And we can't let that happen. Um, but, you know, the, the story of the match is they stay with us to 20, and we win at the end. Um, they stay with us to 20, and we win at the end. They, all three sets were like that. And uh, what that shows is that our team is pretty steady, and they compete, and they make the right plays and the right decisions at the right times. And so I'm proud of them for that, and I, I want our team to feel like that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, we're going to play a lot of conference matches like that. It, it, they're, they're different than the non-conference teams who don't know us. And, um, you know, right there, that, that was a good example. They know who to serve. They know how to block us. They know what to run. They, they know everything. And so it makes it, that's a great equalizer. And, you know, these guys are going to be tough in Laramie. Even being a sweep, was this the toughest match you think you guys have played this year? Um, I think the Santa Barbara Pepperdine were both this tough, but we've had some other four setters. But it's the first time we've played three really close sets. Mm -hmm. And that you know, we had to be focused and into it the entire time. We could not take any mental breaks. And that, that's good for a team. Dieter, can you talk about this team's ability to close all of these close matches that you've had, the close sets that you've had? Um, I think it's really our competitiveness that comes out because it is close, but then, like Tom said, we do make the right plays at the right time, and we are competitive, you know, so we're going to do what it takes to win those games. How impressive is that to you? You had a really experienced team last year. You had troubles with that at times. You have a very young, sometimes inexperienced team this year, so why is that team better at it than maybe last year? So it should be reversed, you would think. Honestly, I think we're way more competitive this year than we were last year. We all have that drive and having different players out on the court and having everyone on the court want to win and be that competitive really is what allows us to win those games. One of the big keys tonight coming in, Sam, was uh, they were the top blocking team in the nation. You outblocked them tonight. Um, and I talked to Marley a little bit about it. That was something you focused on all week. Can you talk about how you guys improved in that and kind of rose to the challenge? I think we pressed over earlier was our big key tonight is we're getting there with our feet. We have been doing some of the stuff right earlier in the season, but this week we really focused on closing up the block, pressing, and I think we all zeroed in on that tonight because we knew it was important, especially going up against one of the number one blocking teams. And we wanted to match that. What was going on with serves really? I mean, four errors in the first set and one in the last two? I know, four errors in the first set. And, and I don't know if you guys read this, but we had 20 kills in the first set to 13 for them, and we only won by two. Mm -hmm. And it, that was because we missed too many serves. They were playing clean, you know what I mean? And so were we, except for the serving. So that put us at nine giveaway points. And then something else must have happened in there to make it that close. But, you know, when you get 20 kills on a team, you should win. Play more than two? Yeah, well, you know, I, look, I shouldn't even say it that way. Because yeah. the fact that we won, yeah. and we won at the end of the set, and it was good, and it was fun, and it was competitive. And 
we, we got to believe that. Uh, uh, it, this isn't about beating people bad. This is just about winning matches. Marley, can you talk? You had four four players against that with double digit kills. That's become somewhat commonplace. How nice is it to have? Is it helpful in these close matches to have so many different options? The teams, even if they're zeroing in on, on Drury, you have other people that are delivering. Yeah, I mean, it gives us an edge. Like, their blocking isn't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it gives us an edge because, I mean, they're not going to know, like, where the ball's going to go. Because mm -hmm. I feel like Deidre can rely on any one of us, and I can rely on, like, she wants to get the ball to Sam for the last point. Like, I know Sam's going to put it down. Mm -hmm. So, I just, I don't know. We all trust each other that we can put it down, and it's kind of hard for them to defend that whenever all of us are getting kills. And I think that's probably why they didn't block as well tonight either, because they can't really scheme against us, because we have a lot of people who want. Did you find part of the success of these close matches is that you have an unselfish team? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's no complaining. If, like, I think there was one time I set Marley three balls in a row, and she got kills, and our whole team is jumping up and down excited. Mm -hmm. No one's like... Give me the ball, you know. So, it's awesome. can you talk about, about the value of having Michelle back tonight? I think when she came in, four straight points you guys want give you a little more depth there on the left side. Yeah, it was great to have Michelle back. She came in and made a difference and actually helped us win, getting some really good kills at key points. So it was great to have her back. Is this the same as this type of night you can grow off blocking wise? I mean, did you feel like you really made strides? And the things that you'd worked on and it's something that you can carry forth? Yeah, personally, I definitely felt a lot better and earlier. And we thought they were going to be a little bit slower team, and their tempo was actually pretty fast. And so I think coming in with the mindset that I could be calm and close, and then actually being able to close on a faster tempo set was really nice, and it'll give me confidence <coughs> into the future. I don't know if that's how everyone else felt, but I like what we worked on in practice. And I think it was very beneficial for us. Meantime, you talked about some of it was fundamentals, getting the hands yeah. right, the yeah. penetration, I still narrowing like the gap. I, I, Did you see that improvement, though? In set two and three. Yeah. Set one, I thought it was a sieve. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought it was a sieve. And I, you know, I, but look. But you weren't. That's because I'm the coach and I'm, I'm paid to be critical. <laughs> okay? But I thought it was. But set two and three was much better. And uh, you know, it, it is interesting too. The, these guys cover well. They, the, the things that they they were better defensively than I thought. They covered balls. They kept stuff alive. It was very, you know, they were pretty crafty too. And, and you get into a three, three and four and five swing rally with them. They win a lot of those because they do smart things. They don't hurt themselves. They throw a ball to the corner or whatever, you know what I mean? I mean next time we play them, we're going to have to be a little bit better at some of those corner balls and that kind of stuff. I think that I, I want to watch this film because I want to see where those middle kills are coming from. Because I, to me, I thought like we managed them on their first swings really well. And so it must have been after that that it was happening. Let's see if we got some off through.